Hey, what's up? It's Hugo here. Today I'll be doing the Lick of the Week episode 11. So welcome back to the Lick of the Week. I'm sorry for the huge lack of uh, the Lick of the Week episodes. And uh, I hope I'll be able to make them more often from now on and put some extra content in there, which I'm also going to do today. So let's get right into episode 11. Uh, so I've got a few things lined up here. Uh, first off, I'm going to start with the wallpapers. But uh, I have the least wallpapers, but I have a lot of icons and a lot of little mods and stuff like that. So be sure to stay tuned uh, to the end, till the end. Um, so, yep, first off, I have Summer Reservoir by Super Todd. It's a pretty nice photo. Uh, so I think he edited some stuff as well in, uh, in Photoshop, some color correction there. But uh, it looks pretty sweet, so... Uh, be sure to check that out. And by the way, all the links will be in the description as usual if you want to download any of these. So then, second off, I have I Love Colors, which is a website. It's not especially a person or anything. But um, I just want to mention this wallpaper, Love. Uh, I've got it right here on my desktop right now applied. So uh, I really like this wallpaper. And I always like clouds. I'm really a fan of clouds and wallpapers. Um, so, yeah, it looks pretty, uh, pretty sweet as well. So uh, be sure to check out all the rest of the stuff in this website because they've got some pretty cool icons and stuff and other wallpapers. And I think I already mentioned a few wallpapers they've got on the site, such as uh, In My World. I think I mentioned the, that a few videos ago. So then we have Womp of Consciousness. I'm not totally sure how to pronounce this properly, but uh, it's a pretty sweet wallpaper as well. It's by Submicron. Um, so we've got, he's got those in three colors, uh, blue red and green yep flame green squ scratch orange and searing lapai or lapis I'm not sure uh, but yeah again Womp of Consciousness by Submicron so be sure to check that out it looks also pretty sweet um, so next up still from the same guy Submicron the green uh, I think it's a really nice simple and still minimalistic uh, wallpaper and it's really a great wallpaper if you're using geek tool uh, to put like your little time everywhere and weather and stuff like that you can put them in those little um, spots here and it looks pretty uh, pretty awesome so be sure to check that out as well again the green by uh, well it's the green P5405 and by Submicron again finally for the wallpapers we have HD BR drops by Nana Trex or Na Trix, yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, it looks pretty cool. He's got it in tons of different res resolutions here. Uh, it's pretty realistic drops here. And he even has it for the little weeny, tiny, thingy iPod Nano thing. Uh, so, yeah, he's got it in all the um, resolutions you actually would want to have it in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next up we have the icons, which I have quite a, a lot of. Um, so, uh, I'm actually going to show off a whole pack, and it's all by He Skin Radiophonic, or Heskin Radiophonic, I'm not sure how to pronounce that either, but uh, it's pretty awesome, it's called Flurry, it's the Flurry icons, um, and he's got Flurry for almost everything, and I'm not even sure if I have everything right here, I think he has a little more, because I missed a few, but uh, let's start off with Flurry for Deven, so that's a few general icons here, I'm not going to go over through all the application, but there are way more than this. So Flurry for Deviants, Flurry for Deviants 2, Flurry for Deviants 3, so as you see it gets even more and more. Um, then we have Flurry for Gamers, so if you have any Mac games or if you like gaming on your Mac. And by the way, if you're looking for any games for your Mac, be sure to check out my website or my forum. Uh, link will be in the description. We have a ton of games there you can download for your Mac, of course. So again, let's go off to, uh, let's go back to the Flurry Pack by... Heskin Radiophonic. I just like seeing that name. Um, so, Flurry for Gamers, Flurry for Gamers 2, Flurry for Office if you're using any of the Microsoft Office applications on your Mac. Uh, then we have Flurry for Social, Flurry for the Web, for all the web icons, Flurry for Social 2, and I think I got this one twice, Flurry for Audio 2. Um, there's also Flurry for Audio 1, obviously, but apparently I missed it up. Flurry for Audio 3, Flurry for Social 2, again, and Flurry for Creative Suite, finally. And he has a few more than that, so Flurry for Audio 1, I missed out, sorry about that. And uh, I think he has a few more, but I'll just leave this guy's Deviant page in the description because he's got really awesome icons, and be sure to check out this whole Flurry pack. I'm, sh 
I'm definitely gonna download it and I'll put them all on my uh, Mac here because they look pretty cool. Um, so that's it for all the icons. So Flurry by Heskin Radiophonic or Heskin Radiophonic, not sure. So that's it for the icons. Uh, next up, or finally, we have the extras. So basically, these are mods, themes, a little you know customization tips and stuff like that. Um, so first off, we have the login screen. So it's called Sticky Login by Tetsulo, and it's for Snow Leopard. And so it's it's pretty awesome. I like this little stick effect with the Apple logo. The Apple logo looks really nice, and I like the clouds in the back because I also have a cloudy wallpaper. So it all fits in pretty well, and uh, I'm using this right now. Obviously, I can't really show you. It's only in the login screen, but uh, it looks really nice and still pretty simple. So that's cool. Uh, Sticky Logging by Romain Peel, I guess, or Tatsulo. Um, PL. Hmm. Not sure how to pronounce it either. Next up, we have um, Theme, or a little mod, for the new iTunes 10. So basically, uh, it's a mod, or it's a theme, to go back to the old layout. Um, so it puts the the little traffic lights back up and it puts the scroll back back to old kind of the highlight that goes back to aqua style and then the icons are in color again stuff like that so little mod there to change that if you guys uh, prefer the old iTunes you might want to check that out too so next up we have a bow tie a few bow tie themes I think I've got two if you don't know what bow tie is uh, it's little application you can download, I'll leave the link in the description uh, for it basically sits on your desktop and shows which music you're playing through, through iTunes and you can control your music from there so you can pause, play, uh, change the songs and stuff like that and uh, it shows off the graphic or the cover art um, shows up on your screen and you can control your music so it's called Mirage by Ordnance Elf um, you have it in two versions, you have perfectly squared and then you have the controls on the image and then you have uh, with the controls under the image so um, yep oh by the way uh, for the iTunes mod it was by TC Media Tech I don't want to forget mentioning a name because uh, I mean this is not my work I'm just showing you where to get stuff so again this is not my work it's by TC Media Tech for the iTunes mod and for this bowtie theme it's Ordnance Elf and it's called Mirage and I think this name has been used already but it's pretty awesome, it's really nice and uh, minimalistic. So, yep. Next up, we have Sliding Discs by Plizo, I think his name is. Um, so, this one is, is pretty nice, has some nice, cool animations. Uh, you have a disc sliding in and out, kind of in a 3D effect. Uh, and obviously, uh, if you change song, it changes the CD, and you have the controls on top uh, there. So, uh, that's a really nice Bodai theme. So, that's the one I'm using at the moment. Uh, so next up, I have two themes for Adium. So if you don't know what Adium is either, it's a chat client or chat application for your Mac, and it allows you to go on MSN Messenger, uh, Google Talk, Facebook Chat, stuff like that. Uh, all those little chat services um, are on in Adium, and it just supports all of them. So that's pretty cool, and I know a lot of people use it. So uh, yep, uh, this theme is called. I think just the complete Adium HUD theme or HUD skin, if I'm correct. But it's a pretty nice minimalistic theme. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned this one already, but um, yeah, it's it's really nice and simple, and uh, it works on the newest Adium, works on Leopard and Snow Leopard. So yep, be sure to check that theme out. And then I have a few icons for uh, Adium as well. Uh, if you go into preferences you can set an icon for each of the status so if you're on available or idle or wave stuff like that it changes the icon in um, your dock as well as in your application and uh, that's pretty cool I think the instructions are included when you download this as well so um, yeah be sure to check that out um, so that's it for the two ADM themes and then I have two last extras uh, first off hop iconer uh, it's on codlian.com uh, by the way, I keep forgetting mentioning those names. Adium icon doc icons or Adium doc icons are by TH or Tib Tib, I think his name is. Uh, so, yep, that's it for his name. And the um, Adium theme is by Gnome. Okay, so yeah. Next up, we have the Hub Iconer, which is a little application. 
Um, it allows you to compose, import, export uh, icons in menu formats. So if it's Apple format or at least Apple icon formats, Microsoft ICO or ICO, dot ICO, or uh, I candy bar containers, I containers. If you want to make I containers of your icons or a bitmap, PNG, TIFF, uh, stuff like that. So it allows you to export your icons in all the formats and organize them as well. So it's kind of a picture to icon application, except you can have more formats with this. So uh, that's pretty cool and it's free. So be sure to check it out. I just wanted to you know, mention this since it's related to customization. Uh, finally, we have a little menu bar here. I've had a few requests on how to change the menu bar again, although I already made a video about that, so you can click on the annotation if it's already there. Um, but it's a menu bar, black and white. It changes everything that's black currently on your menu bar. It changes it to white, and then the gray stuff changes to black, and it's it's pretty nice. If you're using dark wallpapers, you might prefer this than the default one. Uh, so again, this is by True, T-R-U. Yeah, so that's it. And uh, that's for Snow Leopard, by the way. Uh, so that's it for my look of the week episode 11, I think. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. If you have anything I want you want me to include in the next episode, be sure to contact me at contact at m4cbook.com and you can also check out my website um, bigfatmac.com or macbook.com or m4cbook.com. <laughs> Same thing. Uh, so that's it for all the stuff you need to know. And uh, I'll thank you very much for watching. Um, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe if you aren't already, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.